We're going to have a look now at the straight line function and in sp particular we're going to have a look at the effect of A and Q on the straight line function. So let's just remind ourselves of a few things that we've learned so far. The parent function, or in other words the basic graph for a straight line graph is the line y equals to x. The gradient of the line, and gradient is another way of saying slope, and the y-intercept, so this is the place where it cuts the y-axis, of the line can be changed with the parameters a and q. And in grade 9, you would have learned this as y equals mx plus c. It's no different with ax and q. The a is replacing the m and the q is replacing the c. We are just using A and Q so that we can standardize because we're going to learn a whole lot of new graphs that don't use M and C in particular. But you are welcome to use M and C if you prefer. Okay, so Y is equal to AX plus Q. The gradient of the line is the A value in the equation. And if you ever need to calculate the A value, you use the formula change in Y divided by change in X. Q is the y-intercept of the straight line graph. So if you are given the equation y is equal to 2x minus 1, you know straight away that the 2 is going to be the gradient of the graph and that the negative 1 is going to be the y-intercept of the graph. So you can read those values straight from the equation. And we're going to have a look now at how these parameters affect the parent graph. So if we change a and q, what does it do to the graph y equals x? Okay, sketched here is the line y equals to x. You can see that it's the line y equals to x because it passes through the point 1 and 1, 2 and 2, negative 1 and 1, etc, etc. Now, what we have asked the software to do is if we change the value of a and q, so what it has drawn here is actually the graph y is equal to ax plus q, but you can see that the a value has been set to 1 and the q value has been set to 0. So effectively we're looking at the graph y equals 1x plus 0, which is the graph y equals x. If we now increase the value of a, so if we now make a 2, can you see that the graph has now become steeper? Instead of going through 1 and 1, the graph now goes through 1 and 2. If we increase A even further, if we make A3, you can see that the graph has become even steeper. Instead of going through 1 and 1, it now goes through the point 1 and 3, etc., etc. If we make A smaller than 1, so there's A is 1 um, back to where we started. If we now make A a fraction, if we make it a half, you can see how the graph has actually flattened out and it now goes through the point 2 and 1 instead of 1 and 1. Okay, if we make A a negative number, so if we make A 0, we've actually just got the line Y equals to 0, which is the X axis. And if we make A negative, you can see that the graph now slopes downwards. So if we make A negative 1, you can see that it still has, that looks very similar to the graph y equals x, except it now goes through the point negative 1 and 1. It slopes downwards. If you then make a negative 2, you can see that it still slopes downwards, but it becomes a steeper graph. It now passes through the point negative 1 and 2. Okay, so the a value tells you two things about the graph. It tells you whether the graph is an increasing graph. So if A is positive, the graph increases. It goes up from left to right. And if A is negative, the graph decreases. It goes down from left to right. The other thing the A value changes is the steepness of the graph. If A is 1, the graph looks like that. But the moment you increase it, the graph gets steeper and steeper and steeper as your A value gets bigger and bigger. Let's have a look at what changing the Q value does to the graph. If we make the Q value 1, you can see that the slope of the graph isn't changing. That graph is still parallel to the graph Y equals to X. Okay, But you are actually moving the graph up so that it now crosses the Y axis at 1. If you move it up to 2, you will see that the graph now crosses the Y axis at 2. If we make it negative, if we make it negative 3, for instance, 
we can see now that the graph cuts the y-axis at negative 3. So the Q doesn't change the slope of the graph, it changes where the graph cuts the y-axis. If you now change the A value to 2 and leave the Q value at negative 3, you can see that the graph's steepness changes, but the point at which it goes through the y-axis stays exactly the same. Okay, so again, A changes the steepness of the graph and it tells you whether the graph is increasing or decreasing and the Q value moves the graph up and down. It translates the graph vertically so that it changes its Y-intercept.